What's going on, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. Got another one from Thinking Football. One of the best, one of the best football content channels out there. Um, he posted his vids on this day, saying, "My draft crush. This is Brian Branch, defensive back from Alabama. I watched his highlights. One of the most well-rounded DBs I've seen in a long time." Probably, probably, probably my favorite DB in this draft. I like Antonio Johnson. I like the uh, Devin With Witherspoon. Like, uh, it's some, it's some other guys there too that I've seen. But um, definitely, man. Uh, very well rounded. Uh, good cover skills. Deep, up close, can hit. He's fast. Um, I think a team, a good team fit would be uh for him. I think uh the Bengals, you know, there's a need there. I think that would be a nice fit for him. Um, I think the the Pats, I think that'd be a good fit. Um, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know some thoughts. Some uh some some teams y'all think would be some some good fits, but um. Believe he's a first round talent. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I know, I know I took a while on this intro, but let's get to it. In a modern NFL defense, it's arguable that the most important position is the slot corner. With the expansion of aerial attack offenses, teams have been forced into sub packages as their base defense through fear of getting flamed through the air. Replacing a linebacker, the slot must take on some of the biggest mismatches. Good hip flip, smooth back pedal. Teams have been forced into sub packages as their base defense through fear of getting flamed through the air. Replacing a linebacker, the slot must take on some of the biggest mismatch athletes in the league. You'll play and go while playing the run to a high level. Enter Brian Branch, the terrific slot corner from the player factory that is the Alabama Crimson Tide. A long framed athlete, Branch has the limbs to smother opposing receivers and the agility to stay with them. At a great burst to finish at the ball and you've got yourselves a top tier slot corner. The first and most crucial task a slot corner must take on is coverage. There's no point replacing a linebacker with a DB if he's just gonna be burnt toast too. This is supposed to be an advantage after all. Brand all right, now, now this part is due to me, slot corner. I thought he was a safety. The websites that I've seen him list, listed on, he was listed as safety, but this is actually new to me. I've seen him play down like, in the box, cover guys one on one. So I thought he was just a, a nice safety with uh, really good cover skills. But you know, I'm being educated, so that's cool. It's good, you know, good to hear. It's news to me. Branch offers that with the ability to play both bigger bodies, making use of long limbs to counter the size, and shifty slots, showing great bend to stick with them and great burst to recover. Against Georgia here, he's one on one with one of the smoothest tight ends in the country, and he locks that shit down. You know, Brock Bowers. Leverage, Branch allows the inside release, knowing he has the burst to chase him, then gets his hands on him when he turns the route vertical, allowing for him to feel when Brock Bowers is going to cut, sticking right on his hip on the sail route. It's all locked up for Stetson, so he extends the play. And watch how Branch never gives up an inch to Bowers. Stetson tries to force one to him, but it's high and wide, and Branch has him smothered anyway. On the third and four here against Cincinnati, Branch is in the slot, matched up with the Bearcats' shiftiest receiver. He's got his work cut out with the slant flat pick play, but Branch is ready. Boy, Cincinnati, bro. They've been underrated. They've been putting out some receivers. Like I, I, I seen at least three receivers they got uh going into the draft this year alone. I'm like, that's crazy. Reading the starter release. They just had exactly Alec Pierce last year. Doing a fantastic job to see the slant and get round it with minimal slowdown. Ooh, Making this wow. extra special is the burst to finish the play, not just getting around the pick, but breaking wow. on the ball and swatting. Great job the beating that pick. The pass breakup. And here's more fantastic break on the ball, this time from off coverage. Bama are playing banjo here, distributing the routes depending on release. And with the stack both releasing outside as if it's a bubble screen, Kool-Aid McKinley will chase the bubble. This is only the fake though, setting up the slant out of the RPO option. Great design, but even better burst breaks this up. 
Branch is reading the release, and as soon as he sees his man come back inside, he's downhill, breaking up the third down ball. He handles Great these play. tricky releases and swap coverages with ease. Here, Mississippi State will bring the receivers in motion, changing the count, but Branch has no problem switching over and continuing the third down stops. State is running an out to the sticks with a clear out, but because Branch knows he has good safety help, he can undercut this, leaping for a fantastic breakup. These instincts and bursts translate excellently to zone two, knowing how to take on routes and leverage and how to play at the catch point. On the snap, Bama will shift into a cover two and watch Brian's eyes. He reads the route cross him and then immediately gets his eyes to the quarterback. Reading his windup, he breaks on the second slant, bringing him down immediately. More good reading, this time from quarters. Branch has his eyes on the stack release, but as soon as number 10 looks back for the ball, so does he, stepping in front of this, mm. and he'll be pissed that this wasn't for six. Now, lots of people dislike zone because of how static it can be, especially at the collegiate level. However, Saban teaches his men to be anything but and watch Branch's fantastic football IQ to find work and make sure this play is shut down. He's backpedaling in the cover three, but instead of just staying put, he finds the big threat Bowers and makes sure to lock to his hip, staying with him on the deep out and reaching through the hands to knock it incomplete. <laughs> I'm curious how much yards Bowers had in that game. There's less muscle being carried by the defense and theoretically one less player in the box to fit the run. Saban solves this issue with what he calls the star, a slot who is responsible for run fitting or blitzing, depending on the offensive formation and alignment. Here's a good example against Mississippi State. Facing the air raid offense, Alabama are actually in dime on this one. With six And I was confused too. I seen I seen Bama had like three safeties going into this draft. And I'm like, what? Well, how do how do they produce three safeties going into the draft? Like that don't make sense, but Again, he's a he's a uh, a DB nickel, but it's DB, so I was kind of confused about that. If I'm not mistaken, I seen like four or five DBs. I could be wrong, but it was Jordan Battle, Eli Ricks. I know Ricks is a corner branch, and then there was one more guy. I think his name was Holcomb or something. And only a five man box against the trips formation. However, if you count the gaps created by the line you'll know that there's six spaces to fill. So Branch will be responsible for the right edge, allowing Anderson to go inside. This is often a read call in his defense, where Branch will stay underneath to pick up crossers or slots in a pass, or run blitz off the edge, leading to big takedowns of unguarded run lanes. Here's a great example. The tight end motions across the line, changing the count, so the linebacker follows to make sure there's a man on him. The safety will take Branch's man, and Branch will be the force player on the edge. Another brilliant time snap has the play over before it started. It's crazy. He really has got a knack for timing the run and using that burst and acceleration to rapidly collapse backfields. Here's another fantastic read where Branch feels the run coming on the snap. He's too fast for the receiver responsible for him, and Branch brings him down all on his own. Against Texas, he's responsible for the edge here. And with the receiver heads up, he makes sure to time the snap to avoid him, getting skinny around him to take on the tackle. He's more than happy to send Branch up field on this inside run, but watch the fantastic bend and body control to pull a 180 and get back to Bijan, helping it's bring the power back with his teammates. Having to set the edge is quite common in this role, having to replace the weak or strong sidebacker who will be responsible for doing this. Branch has shown some good flashes here, getting his head outside to divert runs, and he's been particularly strong against the option. Watch him wreck shop here by getting deep penetration of the snap, forcing the QB to hand it off, then has the ability to chase the back, turning his body and diving for the ball carrier. And here's another nice job to turn the ball inside here on the sweep against Georgia. Often against college guys, his instincts have him so far in the backfield that this isn't tested as much as I'd like to see. It certainly will at the next level, though. All these timings of the snap make him a fantastic blitz corner, able to leave the blocks at the last moment and burst from acute angles, making protection setting tricky or even non-existent. She, she just threw the he running back now. Off the ball. Whoa, whoa. Neither the tight Knowing that he's a, QB see him coming. a slot he's corner now. Max protection for a super fast sack. And here, he's I do believe I do believe he could start 
fully at safety. But knowing that he's a slot corner, now that I know the information, for those of y'all who just learned that as well, again, what, what, what do y'all see him being a good fit? Because with that, that type of versatility, you can legit have two starting safeties, and he can be your third starting safety, but he can play on the – you can be on the field all day long. Like you can have three starting safeties. That's crazy to think. Like <laughs> you can just drop them back whenever you want to. Play some, play some crazy coverages. You know, so versatile. Motion. The back has a brain freeze and a kick step that awkward. And he's not even like a big fleet-footed branch. A, a big linebacker home, type. Type branch knows how to make the best of his frame. Making himself as big as possible. Type safety or DB, you know. Or deterring passes straight up into grounders. Just because just he's a so good football player. Downhill and plays with such instincts, he's all over the screen game too. Darting gaps and bringing down ball carriers at full speed. Here's a power option RPO for Branch is all over the backside screen. 13 thinks he has the numbers, but Branch is too fast to block, flying in and flinging down the runner. And another great screen stop. This time with some Brock Bowers abuse. As soon as the ball leaves Bennett's hands, he's breaking on it. But Bowers is riding his way. Being the lower man, Brian Ooh. simply forklifts him and throws him aside, caring little for the block and only for the ball. However, he does get carried here, and that brings us to our concerns. A wiry frame may be good for smothering receivers, but it leaves him a little short in the muscle department, lacking a little push when taking on bigger blockers. He also gets dragged often by bigger ball carriers, especially if he's out leveraged. Against the pass, it can also get him in trouble because he's just way too handsy and grabby for the next level. The coverage skills are there. He just has to clean this up because refs become far stricter and you can't be bailing out NFL quarterbacks with silly grabs at the point of attack. Mm. Against the run, there was also a problem of kniving inside far too often. He's just playing the ball. The like also on, at least on both of them plays, he was there just playing the ball, like getting his head flipped around and playing the ball. He's keeping up with the receivers, though. The edge. He backs his burst and agility way too much, trying to jump too many gaps and giving up defensive integrity. He's got to know how to just do his job. A sticky slot corner with a nose for coming forward, Brian Branch is the type of talent that should excel in the modern NFL. Landing spot and coaching is critical for all prospects, and preferably he lands in a hybrid scheme that likes to play more man than zone, where his skill set for bursting to the ball is fully utilized. He's going to be a valuable piece for any secondary, and if it was down to me, he'd be picked early on day one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe as well. All right, man. Shout out to Thinking Football. Um, ain't got too much to say. That was a, that was a very good vid. Um, very uh, educational. Uh, Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.